Hello and welcome to Linux Ort. My name is Jean and today we are gonna talk about Arch Linux or so to say about the two most popular Arch Linux distributions out there, Endeavor OS and the other one is Cache OS. If we have a look to DistroWatch, then we see at the first rank we have Mint, then we have Cache OS, then MX Linux and then Endeavor OS. So there are two Arch Linux distributions at the top five right now. Let's have a look how do they compare and which distribution is for which user. First, let's understand what each of these distros is all about because their core philosophies really shape the entire experience. Endeavor OS is often seen as the spiritual successor to Antagos. Its main goal is to provide a simple new near vanilla Arch Linux experience that's easy to install and maintain. Think of it as Arch, but with a friendly face and a smoother onboarding process. It stays very close to the upstream Arch, adding just a few helpful tools and a great community. It's for those who want to learn Arch tinker and have maximum control, but without the initial installation headache we have sometimes with Arch Linux. Now let's take a look to Cache OS. This takes a slightly different approach. While Cache OS is of course also Arch based, Cache's big claim to face is performance optimization. They compile their own kernel and many core packages with specific optimizations, often targeting newer CPUs to try and squeeze out every last bit of speed. So if Endeavor OS is about the vanilla Arch made easy, then Cache is about vanilla Arch made fast. So these are the both differences. It's for users who value raw performance and are perhaps running more demanding tasks or games than on Endeavor OS if performance is the most important thing for your Linux distribution. Let's come to software. Both Cache OS and Endeavor OS benefit immensely being of course Arch based. So this means you get access to the incredible Arch user repository or AUR very short. What is the AUR? In simple terms, it's a massive community driven repository or software that isn't in the official Arch repos. I would also say it's kind of similar to the flat hub but without Flatpak only for Arch Linux. It has a huge advantage over many other distributions because they don't have such a connecting repository with their home package manager. And with that, the AUR is giving you access to the absolute latest software, often before it hits other distros and you could find almost everything in the Arch user repository. Both distros are using a Pacman as their primary package manager, which is incredibly fast and efficient, of course. It's the standard package manager for Arch Linux distributions and for the AUR Endeavor OS is using Yay as we see it here. This is a default AUR helper and it's a pre-installed. You could very easily yeah, kind of APT install an IUR package only with Yay. So very easy here. If it comes to Cache OS, it also uses Pacman and provides AUR helpers. However, Cache OS also maintains its own repositories, which are much more present here than in Endeavor OS. And in there are those performance optimized packages I mentioned earlier. So that means that for some core system components, you don't get a vanilla Arch system. And also for certain popular applications, Cache provides its own highly optimized versions, which are meant to be faster than in, for example, Endeavor OS. While this can offer performance benefits, it also means Cache is maintaining its own set of packages on top of Arch, which is something to consider. So you rely here more to the Cache OS developers than on Endeavor OS to the Endeavor OS developers because Endeavor OS is giving you the Arch packages right through. Let's come to updates. Both Cache OS and Endeavor OS are rolling release distributions, of course. This is a core characteristic of Arch Linux itself. But what does rolling release mean? Unlike fixed release distros like for example Ubuntu and Mint, which have major version upgrades every six months or two years, like 22.4, 24.4 and so on, a rolling release means you get continuous incremental upgrades. So you install your system once and in theory, also in 10 or 15 years, when you made your updates frequently, then you have also your latest system on board without a big switch of versioning. This is the advantage of rolling release. 
And also if it comes to Arch, you always have the newest features, bug fixes and also security patches immediately on your system. No waiting for a big version upgrade. So this is fantastic for users who want to always use the very latest software and don't want to wait for six months for the new version, for example. But also the contra argument is, yeah, with great power comes great responsibility with generally stable rolling releases can occasionally introduce breaking changes or bugs if you're not careful. So if you update your system at a one day and on another day you want to restart it, then it may not boot up again properly. So this is a thing you have to embrace sometimes on your Arch Linux distributions, but also many users are saying that this had become better and better in the last years, but it's sometimes still there. That is a very big thing to consider. So in terms of updates, both CacheOS and Endeavor OS handle them identically through Pac-Man. There's no real difference here in how updates are managed. The distinction again comes back to Cache's custom repositories, which means you're pulling some packages from their optimized mirrors, whereas EndeavorOS is pulling almost entirely directly from the official Arch mirrors. So here on EndeavorOS, you are getting the more, yeah, again, vanilla Arch than CacheOS, but also CacheOS feels just like an Arch Linux. At the next point, let's come to desktop environments. Yeah, one of the beauties of Linux is of course the choice and it's especially true for desktop environments. Both CacheOS and DevOS offer a fantastic range. For example, if we have a look to the EndeavorOS installer, EndeavorOS provides Plasma KDE, GNOME, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, Bachi, LXQt, LXDE, and also i3 direct out of the box just with a single click installed. Very impressive. Although there are not too many tiling window managers for selection in here. If we have a look to Cache OS, then we see we could choose between a no desktop at all, perfect, but also Plasma, GNOME, XFCE, BSPWM, Bachi, Cinnamon, Cosmic, i3, Hyperland, LXDE, LXQt, Mata, Openbox, Qtile, Sway, Ukui, and Wayfire. So if you want a more battery included desktop, which isn't here in Endeavor OS, Cache OS could really be a thing, especially if you want a very quick start with Hyperland. This could be great. What do I recommend if you don't know what to use? Just go with your gut. For example, I could recommend XFCE or Cinnamon on both distributions or on every Linux distribution because they are quite good desktops in my eyes and are not minimalized, hello Gnome, and offer just a yeah, quite stable experience. But of course, this is only my personal opinion. Please choose your own desktop you want and then you're doing great. Beyond the core system, what unique tools do these distros offer to make your life easier and how do they stack up in terms of overall ease of use, especially for someone maybe coming from yeah, say Linux Mint, Ubuntu and so on, then we have a kind of safe shot. And I would say Endeavor OS excels in a ease of use distro in terms of a Arch Linux based distro. They have a very easy Calamaris installer. Also Cache OS has the same installer. So if I have a look to the installer, here we are. Very, very easy. I guess many of you already saw such an installer. They both Endeavor OS and Cache OS have this same installer with some differentiations, but these are only minor ones. And I would say in terms of installation, they are kind of equal. But if it comes to the tools after the installation, then Endeavor OS provides a lot more tools right out of the box. For example, here the welcome screen has some general info like website, forum and so on, but then has some after installation tools like update of mirrors. So you could update your mirror server very, very easily. You can very easily start an update of your native packages, also your RUR packages and so on. Also some cleanup configuration. You can change the display resolution very easily. You can yeah, set the Endeavor OS default wallpaper. Okay, that's fine. But also if it comes to assistant, we could update native packages. We can do a pack diff for example, but we can also add more apps for example with the the quick start installer we see here, great tool in my eyes and you can very easily 
ja, select some audio player, email, client, um, web browser additionally and so on. Very, very easy and very fast to do. But of course, um, if it comes to more software management, yeah, we are in an Arch Linux distribution, you should use Pac-Man or Yay for the AUR. But of course, there are also some graphical tools which are combining these two things and even more with Flatpak, for example. This is, for example, Pamek, but they are not pre-installed on any of these both distributions. But of course, you can install it after the installation. So there is no problem at all. And this is completely fine for an Arch Linux distribution. But if it comes to tools, then Endeavor OS is quite good here. What I would say is very hand-holding for new Arch Linux users. And if it comes to Cache OS, we don't have too much here. We have some documentation and some release info, of course, uh, but I can't open them up here in the live system. So there seems to be a small bug, but if it comes, for example, to the wiki here, we can just open it up. Then we have some installation guides, um, also some guides, how Cache OS improves performance, why to use Cache OS and so on and so on, uh, but also some configuration steps for for example, for gaming, for dual GPU laptops, and also some other system tweaks you could apply very fast and much more easy with Cache OS compared to a normal Arch Linux. So this could be a very cool thing for existing Arch Linux users who want to get more performance out of their Linux distribution. But this is it for tools and ease of use in Cache OS. So Cache OS much more relies on that fact that you maybe already know Arch Linux distributions, that Cache OS may not be your first Arch Linux distribution and you know what you're doing. Cache OS is only providing yeah, some performance tweaks for a very basic general Arch Linux distribution, but with a nice graphical installer we see here. So after all, which one should you choose? Cache OS or Endeavor OS? The answer is as always in Linux, it depends on your priorities. Choose Endeavor OS if you want the purest, closest to vanilla Arch Linux experience without the manual installation. You prioritize simplicity, community support and a gentle learning curve into the Arch Linux ecosystem. If you're happy with the default Arch package performance, and I would say it's much more faster already than for example Debian, so that's just fine. If you never used Arch, then yeah, Arch Linux is blazingly fast. And if you want a, in parentheses, solid, stable daily driver that rarely breaks in terms of Arch Linux, but please be aware that this is still an Arch Linux distribution, very vanilla, and you're looking to learn and understand Arch Linux from the ground up with just enough help to get started. So Endeavor OS is a great beginner distribution for Arch Linux users and provides yeah, kind of a very easy quick start with some helpful tools and a great community. When should you choose Cache OS? You should choose it if you are a performance enthusiast or a gamer looking to squeeze every bit of speed out of your hardware. You appreciate having optimized kernels and packages readily available without compiling them yourself. You are comfortable with a slightly more tweaked system and are less concerned about absolute upstream priority of course and you are already familiar with Arch concepts and want a performance forecast derivate, then Cache OS is a really, really nice distribution for you. As you see, it depends. If you are using Arch Linux already, then have a look at Cache OS. It could be a great distribution you might miss. And if you are not into the Arch universe yet and want to try it out, then Endeavor OS is the distribution for you. What is my preference here between Cache OS and Endeavor OS? I would say I would take Endeavor OS because I like the feeling of Endeavor OS and it comes with a vanilla Arch experience but with some helpful tools. So this would be also a great quick start for my Arch Linux experience. I already have some Arch Linux experience but this is many years old. So if I want to get back again to the Arch Linux world, then Endeavor OS would be my distribution because it's such a great project. They have also a great documentation and a great wiki here with many things like applications, ACPI kernel parameters, audio, butterfs, 
Bluetooth, the RUR, what is it, the encrypted installation, desktop environments, gaming, grub, and so on. There are many topics in the wiki, which is perfect for the Arch Linux beginner. And I would say, yeah, this makes the Endeavor OS community so special in the Arch Linux world. So which Arch Linux distribution would you choose if you have to decide between them both or are you already using some of them? Just write it me into the comments. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to Linux Ord because here we are releasing new stuff about Linux and open source every week. So make sure to don't miss our next video here. See you next time. Bye bye.